Welcome back to the Independence. Hi. I believe this Justin Bieber is an a -hole. Little Justin Bieber is being investigated for egging his neighbor's house, allegedly, to the tune of 20 grand. Doesn't take a lot of eggs to do a felonious amount of damage when you live in that fawn of a castle. Uh, when cops detained him and seven of his bros, they found drugs. Oh my garden, what happened? David Kaplan joins us. He's an entertainment reporter and he runs the site gossipdavid.com. Welcome, David. Hi there. Hi. So, Justin Bieber has had quite, I guess it's a couple of years really since he's been on this spree of horribleness. Yeah, and in particular, you know, we're talking, he's had a past few months of where he's making his neighbors crazy because this this. Is it stems from the fact that his next door neighbor saying that Justin Bieber was pelting all these eggs at his house, scared this and guy. And there was an eyewitness. Yeah, yeah. His, his own daughter was there, right? And they even got a partial video of it, and the daughter sounds terrified and frightened. But just within the past few months, people have complained that he goes speeding throughout this gated community in Calabasas outside LA. They, there's another incident where actually a neighbor says that Justin Bieber spit on this neighbor, but no And that charges. was investigated by the LA County yeah, Sheriff. Yeah, it was investigated, but they never, charges never happened. So, particularly with with his neighbors, I mean, they want him out of that gated community. So this is insane, and that's what happened. The cops go there today. Twelve cops, by the way, go to Justin Bieber's house just to see, you know, about an egg egg incident. Yeah, it what's up a little... with that? That sounds a little bit strange to me. First of all, how do you get twenty thousand dollars worth of egg damage? <laughs> Anywhere to anything, Gated unless you're outside community, the right? Sistine I, Chapel. Oh, do you know how much those fixtures cost? I guess so, but that's like it, this is, and it's also Calabasas, right? That, that's kind of like horse house territory. Right. I mean, it's, it's you, not. You uh, have not lived in Southern California for so <laughs> long. True. Ever since Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey moved to Calabasas, oh, really? it became fresh. And the Kardashians now, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, the, Karda the Lardashians live there. <laughs> oh, oh, my so gosh. that's where you go to have a wild time, but uh, that seems a little bit of excessive. You know, right? it is excessive, and it's funny. The LAPD actually even acknowledged that today. A press conference saying, and it was odd that he said, the cops said, we didn't know what we were to expect, so we needed those costs. But it's like, so okay, they so obviously were expecting so something, they, to be honest with you. They get a report that he's done $20,000 worth of damage, which bumps it up to a felony. Exactly, above so the 400. cops go to, go to his house. They find drugs. How did they get inside and find drugs? So, every, so the police officer today at a press conference said that they got to the house, everyone was sleeping except the security detail. And this happened before 11 a.m. Pacific time. So they go there, everyone is sleeping, including um, Lil Za, who was his friend, the rapper. And then they said in the room where this rapper was, I know. Is that little twister? <laughs> you know, I wish I could remember his real name, but that's how it is. And then they go into the room where just the rapper was, and then that's where they found, the police found the powdery did, substance. Did the security detail let the police in? Yeah, they wow. let them in, and they the cops said they are the only didn't ones have a away. Warrant? No, so they went there, and then they see this white powdery substance. Initially, there were reports that it was cocaine or something. But the police had said no, it was Molly, which is a form of ecstasy. They also found Xanax there as well. He was arrested, and then for on twenty thousand bond, his friend was released. His friend not, was his not friend. Yeah, no, no, not Bieber. Don't worry, believers. Don't Bieber worry. Was detained, it's all good. Not it's arrested. all good. There's a difference, right? Exactly. Yeah. So he, yeah, he was just there, Justin Bieber. He wasn't taken away, and the cops actually kept Justin Bieber in the um, his garage while the cops looked around the house initially for the video surveillance. Long story short, his friend goes to jail. He's not. He goes to the police precinct. He's arrested. Twenty thousand dollars on bail. He's out. Oh, wow. So you said that there there was not a warrant. They. Asked for permission to conduct I think the there was, I think there was a warrant okay. to go in. Yeah, so there and, was, and there was a warrant because there was this claim of twenty. Yeah, because there was this claim. Because what happened is, in that ju jurisdiction, it above, excessive? it seems totally excessive. So does. I mean, so I don't want to be in the position of, of defending up. Justin Bieber, but. But you know what? Much. Justin Bieber has a history of being, you know, not always being cooperative necessarily with the police. You know, he, they had all these cars there. Clearly, there was a lot of people at the house. So maybe police, you know, when they go into that sort of situation, they didn't know it's celebrities. But I mean, a lot of people are like, doesn't the LAPD sort of have other crimes going on in LA? I mean, but at the end of the day, you know, they found drugs. So probably, you know, I don't even know if that still warranted it, having 12 people. But it seems really excessive. And also, there were seven or eight people other than Justin Bieber well, the, in the house. Haven't the police responded to so many swatting calls? The Fake 911 calls? <laughs> That, that you think they'd learn their lesson. Like I said, they would, the police were called for all these other incidents that I outlined, like the spitting incident, when people said that he was driving too fast there. So, I mean, I think they maybe see a pattern that the behavior is becoming a little bit strange, and they don't know what they're going yeah, no, to get into. It doesn't seem like it. there's any evidence of that. And, and if we can extrapolate some bigger lesson from <laughs> something involving Justin Bieber, it might be that the cops are perhaps subject to the same sort of thing that a lot of common people are, which is, oh, it's a celebrity dude. Let's totally go check out what's happening mm -hmm. here. And let's look around his house and see if we can find some stuff. Find it, seems, it seems like they, they probably knew. I think cops are also knew. in Southern California annoyed by people like this who, who you know, tend to get away from law. But what does this say about uh, 
the war on drugs. And what is legal and what is illegal? What's interesting is that, uh, that uh, he didn't get detained for this. I mean, he's, it's his house, a bunch of people there, weird white powder on the table, and, you know, uh, it's his friend who will get any trouble if there's anybody. So uh, it's, it, the war on drugs is a, is a ticket to bash down your door. Uh, which is one of its biggest problems. And lots of terrible things happen. Do you think they were looking for drugs? I don't know. I mean, it's, if he's had this uh, history of criminality, kind of like a Lindsay Lohan character, they probably have a very low tolerance. So whenever they hear a complaint, they'll go after him. And it's also, it's a different era. I mean, 25 years ago, the Beastie Boys moved to L.A., <laughs> and they were egging the crap out of everybody. By the way, they, went, they moved to L.A. Rope Paul's Boutique. It, it, and, with and Eggman. Eggman is one of the greatest. Because they were just driving around and hucking eggs <laughs> yeah. at people and acting like total jackasses and being kind of funny at the same time. But there was actual crime in L.A. in the 1980s. <laughs> Actually, it might, have been, it might have been Check Your Head when they moved to L.A. But still, Eggman is a great song about driving around egging people, and that is certainly from Paul's Boutique. <laughs> so what's going to happen with Justin Bieber? Is he ever going to see prison for even a day? And don't you think he would just crumble like a bad souffle? He definitely would crumble like a bad souffle. And of course, today, actually, at the press conference, the police officer said that Justin Bieber, you know, he hasn't been arrested, he hasn't been detained, but, quote, he hasn't been exonerated either, meaning they're still investigating it because they don't want to take heed either of the police for be, appearing to be light on celebrities, you know, which is like, you know, a decades-old LAPD. The issue with them. But listen, he said Justin Bieber is not exonerated yet, so he's not out of the clear. And really quickly, they were going there. I mean, the only reason maybe why they had more than one or two cops is they were going to take apart, and they did take apart, the security system. They were looking for surveillance footage from Justin Bieber's house of him egging, because they believe the egging of his house yep. was caught on the video. So maybe they thought they needed, like, a team to do it. But listen, that's a... The you know, action news. Yeah, thing. I know, right? But it's, seriously, but, you know, and because it's above $400, which is the limit in that jurisdiction, they're saying it's a felony. So, yeah, that's he could... So He's a monster. All right. Well, excellent. Thank you so much, David. Thanks a lot. Please come back again. Will do. And we'll talk about celebrity news because Matt and Camille just love it. They can't get it. <laughs> and uh, by the way, coming up next, we have a tragic story also from Southern California. Very sad.